welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're here for the first time don't forget to subscribe and if i subscribe thank you for doing that thank you for your love and your support in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this toba the reason i'm making this toba and i'm going to be giving the idea on how to make this lorry fascinator tobanator wow so that is it so let's get started so before you can be before you begin to do this um tutorial firstly you're going to be working on your fabric you can make two type of fabric you can use them um, this shiny tapeta or you can use the door face but i would advise you to use a door face or a shiny door face and if sometime if you are doing it for a client normally online order you can just go for a stretching tapeta so that is the material we need in a fabric our gum we're going to be working with a lot of um, gum here so we're going to have the basic styles on you can use any flower of your choice any flower of choice any stones of your choice you can use them you can use them in gold just for you to have idea on how to make it so let's go straight to the point let's go straight to the tutorial so this is the material that we'll be needing for this tutorial i'm going to be needing like i said earlier I've mentioned some materials and that's our stone that I'm showing you. You're gonna have a stone, you're gonna be having can you see that's another stone? I use another stone. You can use this the sliver, you can use any one, you can use any flower that you love to use. And that I'll be cutting out the stone out of, out of it. That's it. So can you see now? That is it. So that's the stone and this one now just create your stone on your own just try to create your own stones it's not compatible for you to use what is on the picture just create it except because except your client client is looking for it and so let's go straight to the point and so this is our um, fabric so I'm going to be showing you the measurements I use in this tutorial if you are making this style you have to double your fabric i repeat myself the body of your turban you have to double it it is very very important for you to double it if you are using a just one piece of it without doubling it is going to be very very light and so what you're doing on it is going to be very heavy on it so this is the measurement i'll be using i'm using 25 by 17 inches that's 25 by 20, 20 sorry that will be 25 by 17 inches is folded into two i didn't separate just have to fold it just like that i repeat myself this is the long i fold it to less so this is 25 by 17 inches so now the next now we're going to be doing now we're going to be um doing the base you can as well to cut the base differently you can as well to do it just i'm um, doing it but if you want perfect perfect outcome just can you see i have already so my two inches out of the body of the top pan you can check my previous video on how to make this you're just going to just for two inches in two places and you're going to sew it down the next thing we're going to be doing and is the the hand that is for, for time since this material is not a stretchy material so we're going to be using this so that is it so our measurements for this we're going to be having nine inches you can mix it of eight inches nine inches and ten inches by six inches i repeat myself six inches by nine inches six inches wide and nine inches long going to take this your sewing machine you're going to be sewing this you close it and then you leave the other part the last page your last side you're not going to sew that part then you're going to turn this out you're going to turn this out and so what we are doing you're going to turn this out just turn that part out it's very very easy so you're gonna turn it out and uh, you take it to the body of your turban then you're going to sew it 
so i'm going to be i've already put it down the next thing i'm going to be doing now is that is my baby in the video so let's go back so i'm going to be joining this together on my sewing machine i'm going to be using my sewing machine to join this part out can you see i'm going to be joining this part out you're going to sew that part the second part you're going to sew it then after you have sewed it down you're going to be turning it out can you see you just take it to your sewing machine you stitch that part you take it to the other part again you stitch that part if and you can weave the inside too can you see the end so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be folding this into two back you're going to be folding this just like this put this just like this then you're going to take it to a sewing machine then you're going to be sewing from that whole part place to the down but at the at the down part you're going to be leaving four inches you know this material is not a stretching material so you're going to be you're going to be sorry sorry for that <coughs> so you're going to be um you're going to, you're going to leave four inches you're going to leave four inches i've already sew it i already sew it next i'm going to be now i'm going to be doing a running station can you see the way i'm doing a running station i'm going to be doing a running station then i'll take it to the other part <laughs> So this is the first part of this tutorial this is the first part of the tutorial if you are new yet don't forget to subscribe please just subscribe subscription is free 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 so the next thing now this is where we are going to be working home this is what we call work 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 <laughs> and so we're working with our bony we have a strong bony we have a tiny bony we have a flat bony, but yeah, I'm going to be using a, a little bit flat bony and very soft, not that, not too thick bony. So I'm going to be setting those pieces aside. It depends on you. You can use bias. It depends on how we want. You can use bias. Normal bias that we use for sewing, you can use it, and uh, you can use this. So this, I have to cut some pieces from my fabric so what we're going to be doing first is now we're going to be wrapping these pieces to it so i'm going to be adding <coughs> these pieces to it so that's my baby i'm going to be adding that pieces to his i'm going to be wrapping this now can you see so i'm going to be taking my hot glue then i'm going to add it on the can you see what I'm doing now? So we're going to be wrapping this on the bony after I've already dropped some little hot glue on it. So I'm going to be wrapping this on it. Just use how to press it, just be very careful. Then you continue to wrap it. You continue to wrap it. This is where we call a mobile shell reshare so we're going to be wrapping this so i'm <laughs> i'm doing video with my baby can you see 
so i'm going to be wrapping this we continue wrapping this i'll be showing you how i started how it's going that's what i'm going to be doing so i'll do some parts we're still going to continue so we're still going to continue all you have to do is just fold your fabric if it's over else fold it just like that then you wrap you wrap it on the bony so you cover it so when you are done with one you just take your same fabric or another fabric they used to cover the finishing then you continue that way because you're doing it it's very very easy to do so you keep wrapping don't forget to follow me on instagram as of me now don't forget to follow me on our facebook page as of me now and my WhatsApp number is 081-04602148. So we're going to keep wrapping. We keep wrapping. So you keep wrapping. Can you see? That is our hot glue. And whenever you're working with your hot glue, make sure you don't place it on the floor. So you, you, you won't mess the... Sorry. You, I don't know what's happening to me today. Just don't know. I'm not feeling fine. So I'm just trying to make this video. I'm not that feeling fine. So sorry the way I'm talking. Just focus on what we are doing. I didn't grow my voice, please. I'm not feeling fine. So we're going to keep wrapping that. Just wrap it the way you want it. Just make sure you take your time to wrap it. You can take it four, you can take it five, you can even have more to it. Just depend. If you want to make it six, like the picture I show you now, I think it's five. Then I'm doing my four. So just depend on you. Just for me to give you ideas on how to make this tutorial. So you're going to be using the um, your pieces of fabric to to wrap it just we just got the just got cut so we just got the piece of like a bias so i'm going to be adding my horse glue to that part i'm going to be wrapping it i'm going to be wrapping it so you're going to be wrapping it so we're going to be wrapping it just the way i'm doing it you're going to add your hot glue on it you wrap you wrap you keep wrapping it's very very easy. just keep wrapping just very careful so now to place this is there's a, a different way that you can place this you can just place it any how you want it you can place it the way it's on the video you can place it at the center you can just try to and you can use hot glue but in this tutorial i use um needle and thread i didn't use hot glue so I work with needle and thread. Just place it on where you want and you tack it. You tack it to the body of the turban. So just place it where you want. Can you see? Just place it where you want. And you tack it. Then you want to use hot glue. You can use hot glue on it. You tack it. You use a sewing machine. So you use a needle and thread to tack it. So that's it and uh, the next thing i'm going to do so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be covering that part so i'm going to be covering that part with uh, my flower you can use any flower of your choice just cover that part you don't leave that part so then you cover it i'm going to be working with this just to cover it so 
So I'm going to be covering this with the flower. I'm going to be using my stone. I'm going to be covering it. I'm still going to adjust this back later. I'm going to be stoning it and uh, that will be the end of our uh, uh. So that's the end of this tutorial. So if you see this video very helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. I'll be seeing you next time on my next video. We'll see you next time on my next video. Bye.